joining us now, Ryan O'Neill, his daughter Tatum. They're starring in a new docu-series, Ryan and Tatum, the O'Neills. It premieres Sunday on OWN. It's great to have you both here. Thank, Thank you. you. It was very touching to see you all both in that piece, looking at pictures that you hadn't seen. Some I never saw. Seen before. before. Yeah. Why'd you want to do this, Ryan? I mean, did you have to be talked into this? No. No. <laughs> it was a way back. There weren't that many paths. Mm -hmm. This looked uh, promising because we work well together. We have a, we have a history. And uh, I thought maybe we could make more history. And for you, Taylor? It seemed like the best, the only way maybe. So we thought like it, we, we do work well together. Let's have that conversation in a work setting and we will sort of find our way back that way. Uh, it, it, it is what it, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's relationships mm -hmm. are tricky. I know, and you, family and, ones, you know, we've, we've talked about that earlier yeah. this week and you wrote about it so well. Okay. I want to, I want to say something, you know, some people are going to look at the body language right now and well, wonder, there's too much room here, 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 I do this. <laughs> and think, and he, think he, like, I mean, how are things I today? I to have an armrest. That's all I know. <laughs> he saw Howard Stern and that's the problem. What I didn't know that. What happened? I didn't see it. I didn't or heard about it what or happened something. On Howard Stern? Oh, he just is Howard Stern, you know. He tried to break us up. Uh, you're very sensitive to that. I'm, I'm sensitive. I wish I was less sensitive. So something was said and didn't sit too well with you, Ryan? They didn't Did say exactly. They just said, don't listen to it. <laughs> okay. What is it that pulled you guys apart 25 years ago? And I know you have different sides to the story, so... Well, then let's hear mine. <laughs> perfect. I'm perfect with that. Ryan, right, you want to go first? Question? What's your side? <laughs> oh, your side of the story. Yeah, why, you are, why you were estranged for 25 years? Pride. In one word. I thought I had all the pride. It turned out, no, there's someone with more <laughs> than me. <laughs> Uh, and that was that that broke our communication, which was vital to any relationship. We didn't have it, and so uh, we drifted we drifted away from each other. Unhappily, of course, there was always something wrong with my life without her in it. That's and, true. Uh, Me too. That's it's less now. It's. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's challenging, but it's uh, wor worth it to see her back when, uh, in the fold. And to have her back in your... Have, my, uh, have your little girl back again. Absolutely. She's still my girl. And Tatum, what was it for you? Why do you think that for so long? And, why, and, and how much did you actually communicate over those two decades? Um, periodically, I would say not very often, um, really. I sort of talk about them a little bit in my book. It just, if you're a part, you're a part, and he has his reasons, and I have my reasons, and unless I was sort of suffering with my addiction, I came back to him once in 2002. We got together for the uh, Paper Moon 30th anniversary. There were times we got together. We, he got to know the, my kids at that event, um, and I think that just... Uh, I got sick. And she was right, there and then Farrah passed, and I think that that sort of was the last thing to kind of help to to soften my resolve and try to make a relationship work and to try to to bridge that b bond back um, to him. And that was before even the show uh, mm -hmm. was sort of a possibility. And as we've shared with you before, Ryan, we're very very sorry about the passing. Me too. Uh, of Farrah, and it's been very, yeah. I know, very hard on you. I have to say, yes, there's, there's going to be drama in the program, that's a given, but there are also some lighter moments. I want to play a bit of a clip. I hope there is. Uh, yeah, and there, it was your birthday, Tatum, and you couldn't remember it was 15 or 16th birthday, but... When I had a thousand people up at our house. Yeah, let's take a look. Ryan of Tatum, the O'Neills. How many? That, like a thousand. 16, Dad, we had a party and we invited a couple hundred people and a couple thousand people. Oh my oh. God, I remember 15 yeah. now. 16 or 15. Oh, I have to sit down. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> I remember Brooke Shields came. It was, it was Leif Garrett and Michael Jackson. Yeah. They were. Yeah. Well, Michael was there. Oh Michael God. was there. And it was just the craziest birthday. And I just remember going, where were you, Dad? Where were you at that party? You were at the beach In those house. days, I used to just put my head in the sand. <laughs> put your head in the sand. Oh. 
Is that what you used to do back in the day? Yeah, I, I was covered in it. Sand. And now? It's gone. It's gone now. Sharp reality works better. And for you, Taylor, what are you, what are you hoping for? What do you want? What do you need? I don't know that I need anything anymore. I think I'm kind of good. I think that it's just trying to sort of live as best I can with as much love in the equation as possible and to be as generous of spirit as I can, really. Um, that's my hope, is to kind of to continue to share what I've, what I've sort of finally, uh, the good that I finally feel with my dad, with my kids, with my work, with the show and just sort of have it be kind of familial or family and kind of pull, pull us together. Uh, because I feel like, you know, I've gone from, come from hell and back, if you will. So mm -hmm. it's just a nice feeling to know that, that I have a parent, that he's in my life, that we've done this show, that we are trying. <laughs> Even if there's people out there that are trying to break us up, we're trying. I love how your dad's looking at you right now. He's like, what are you going to say? No. no, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, you're not? She's okay. so much more articulate than I am. <laughs> he always That's always a kind of a... Uh, <laughs> because I remember when I was the articulate one, and now suddenly <laughs> I've just but, passed the... Uh, but is there trust there? Because I have to say, when you all have been talking to one another, or talking about each other and, and talking right now, you kind of look... That was a, Yeah, that was a loving look that you gave her right then, but there's been, just like Tatum said, not quite sure what the other's going to say, and it's a very tenuous situation right now between you two. It is. Of course it is. I'm, a, I'm so sensitive. It just goes with the territory, I guess. But Tatum's gradually, it's, uh, I'm less yeah. so, and, and uh, the sky's the limit. We have lots of time to, yeah. to uh, recover. Our footage. Watch the show. <laughs> Your expressions are, are Watch saying it all. Watch the show Whoa. because there's a lot there. It's a work in progress. We are trying, as a lot of families are, as a lot you of. You think so? Yeah. There's this. Well, that's that's. Uh, then if we're, it can encourage people to close uh, up or open mm -hmm. up or open up. Okay. That would be good. Well. That would be imp that would be the reason we did the show and. Actually, I hope it does help. Well, Ryan and Tatum, thank you. Thanks for having us. Work in progress, yeah. as a lot of us are, and appreciate you opening thank you, up thank and you being so much. here. And Ryan and Tatum, The O'Neills premieres Sunday, June Good 19th job, Dad. Uh, on OWN.